hey buddies i'm here to share a few modest fashion hacks that i've picked up along my journey as a modest fashionista yes <laughs> so i know modesty means different things to different people based on your religion and your personal beliefs and i'm just here to share a few life-changing hacks that have helped me throughout my journey one two three so first i'm going to start with workout wears guys workout is so important to me i ensure to work out at least four times in a week and picking up an outfit that was modest was a little bit challenging when i first started working out most of the outfits were either too tight or too big so i found this app. we had joggers to work out guys yes regular joggers but i make sure they are cropped legs so it gives this still fashionable silhouettes so nice i paired the joggers mostly with eye neck tops workout tops and i find that it made a really good modest and fashionable gym wear you know we don't want to look frumpy so yes this is one act that has saved my life when i'm not doing that and i'm wearing like a more form-fitting pants like this cotton pants here that i like to wear sometimes i pair it with an oversized sweatshirt either with hoodie or not with hoodie helps me keep more covered because most times i wear the cap inside and i just flip the hoodie and i find that what this does is that it keeps me more covered especially in my you know booty area it keeps it covered and i feel more comfortable working out like this another alternative to this is you know sometimes sweatshirts can be a little thick and it makes you sweat and uncomfortable so sometimes i wear regular long sleeve workout tops like this and i pair with and I pair it with my like a little more you know form fitting pants I would usually take another long sleeve workout shirt and tie it around my waist this helps to keep me a little more covered and more comfortable now another modest fashion hack that I've been enjoying lately is that I wear this turtlenecks I have them in different shades because I am obsessed and I have more actually but I made sure I picked them in three neutral shades which is black, white and beige. So what I do is I pair it under a more revealing dress like this dress that has this really revealing neckline. I just wear it and pair it underneath and i noticed that it makes mainstream or contemporary dresses look a little more modest these are also very very essential although these are sleeveless but i find that sometimes when i turn it to the back it helps me cover my decolletage area and i also wear it on like v-neck dresses or tunic i'm actually wearing one of them now with this outfit that i'm wearing currently Camisoles and turtleneck are very very essential pieces for your modest closet. One other hack is for you to invest in kimonos and other outer jackets like blazers, oversized blazers, oversized denim shirts. This one is pretty lightweight. So what I usually do is I just wear it on whatever I'm wearing. Sometimes when I'm wearing like a more form-fitted outfit or maybe like an outfit that doesn't have sleeves, I just wear them and Immediately, it takes my outfit from basic to modest. Now, today I'm wearing one of such. I'm wearing a palazzo pants with this um, camisole. Then I paired it with my kimono, my black kimono. Guys, I have this particular black kimono in three colors. That is how obsessed I am. So if you find a piece that makes your modest journey a little more comfortable or convenient you should invest in them you should buy more of them in colors that you know you would usually wear like white black and neutral picking your denim or pants two sizes bigger is going to give you that extra volume there by covering your bottom so don't be afraid to pick your denim or pants two sizes or one size up for dresses that have spaghetti straps like this, what I usually do is pair with a sweatshirt. I pair this one with a white sweatshirt. To make dresses like this a little more modest, you can pair it with sweatshirts. You can pair it with an oversized sweatshirt or wear like a button down shirt underneath. I style this in my how to style a sleep dress video, which I'm going to link below. 
next tip is for you not to be afraid to go a size up when you're picking your dresses guys this dress is two sizes bigger than me and i am going to make it perfect by pairing it with belt a nice crossbody bag and nice heels so guys do not be afraid to go a size up or two sizes up when you're buying your dresses another hack is for you to pick your necklaces in a little longer length for example this one that i'm wearing i picked in a longer length so that it would show up underneath my hijab and also they sell these extenders on ebay you can get them on amazon and you can get them on jumia where you hook it to the back of your necklace and you know it makes it a little more longer now the last modest fashion hack that i have for you are this hijab magnet guys they are essential in your wardrobe they are essential in your modest wardrobe guys they took my chiffon game from zero to a hundred guys you know how chiffon veil can be such a hassle but they are so beautiful because they pair perfectly with any outfit because they drip so well and they help you avoid the volume that other scarves would give you like jersey scarves and even cotton scarves ever since i started investing in this tiny magnet i've been really loving them it accessorize guys i cannot overemphasize the importance of good accessories it can take a rather frumpy modest outfit to a very stylish one invest in belts i got this one from primark and it was just around i think 10 10 dollars or so I use it to cinch the waist of my dresses and it makes it really really beautiful i also invest in this clutch purses or purses you know i invest in them they really really take your outfit to a whole new level so guys accessorize they are really important guys we've come to the end of this video i hope you're able to pick one or two hacks to help you throughout your modest journey also if you like to know how to build a modest fashion wardrobe then watch this video one two three